Robert Parks here. My colleagues and I work pretty hard, but occasionally we have time for a sense of humor. Perhaps this is how a couple of us got to the topic of building a RAID, or redundant array of independent disks, out of micro SDHC cards. Well, as you may have seen, this is a product that actually exists, and is cheap, but is it any good? Well, first, let's talk details. This Sage Microelectronics RAID card has 10 micro SDHC slots and sells for $29.45 on eBay. It's populated with 10 A-Data brand 128 gigabyte class 10 micro SDHC cards, which collectively cost $86.45 for a grand total of $115.90. RAID 0 is the only configuration option, so it presents as a single 1.2 terabyte drive. On a recent video, I benchmarked a 1 terabyte Samsung 850 Evo SSD, which currently sells for $349. So the question we're asking today is how does a 1.2 terabyte $116 micro SDHC RAID stack up against a 1 terabyte $349 SSD drive? Can you really get SSD performance for less, or does the old rule of you get what you pay for apply here? At first I only ran a quick format on this RAID in Windows, but the drive crashed almost immediately after I began a benchmark, to the point that it was ejected from Windows. It appears to be absolutely necessary to run a full format on this micro SDHC RAID, and if you think about it, that stands to reason. So let's kick off a full format. While that runs, let's look out the window and see if anything interesting is going on over this Memorial Day holiday weekend. Well, that took a while, and it's probably not a good sign. But let's go ahead and kick off a benchmark of the Samsung 850 EVO next to this micro SDHC RAID, and we'll see how they perform side by side. And fast forward a bit. Okay, so the Samsung SSD is done, but the micro SDHC array is still going. What's up with that? Well, it turns out that the benchmark on the micro SDHC RAID would run for another six hours before the drive crashed again and got kicked out of Windows again. In other words, the micro SDHC RAID simply isn't reliable for high intensity read write operations. And it's as slow as writing data to a CD ROM drive over the internet. So, is micro SDHC RAID a good idea or a bad idea? In this case, it's a distinctly bad idea and a lesson that cost $115.90 to learn. To my friend who made the purchase, I'll split half the cost with you. For anyone else watching, save yourself the time and money and buy a legitimate SSD instead. If you like what you saw here today, please subscribe, like, or share. Thanks for watching and have a great day.